Welcome to Exotic Astrology, ladies and gentlemen. We are here with 3rd August and tomorrow is a very interesting day because there are two prominent events happening. First is Venus is going to go direct and Jupiter will be retrograde from tomorrow. All right. So I'm here in drikpanchang.com. So Venus is currently, as I'm making this video, still retrograde, 3rd of September, 2.39 p.m. German time, Central European summer time. And uh, it will, uh, it is in Karakarashi, which is Cancer, from 7th of August, okay? So let me give you some timelines. Uh, this will help you to actually go back in the memory lane and try to think what happened. So Venus was direct uh, in Aries, uh, then Taurus, then Gemini. And then on 30th of May, end of May, it entered Karakarashi, which is the sign of Cancer. So from 30th and then on 7th July, it entered Simharashi, okay, which is the sign of Leo. And then it re-entered Karakarashi on 7th of August, okay. So, 30th May entered Karkarashi, Cancer, and on 7th August, it re-entered, okay? So, essentially, for five weeks, the entire month of June and first week of July, it was in the sign of Cancer. So, try to think what was going on the entire month of June and the first week of July, you know, try to think what was going on. And then, finally, on 7th of August which is a month back, it re-entered um, this Karkarashi, okay? So, try to think what happened around 7th August, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, around that time. And then, since then, it is uh, again going retrograde, okay, uh, in the sign of Cancer, which is Karkarashi. And now, tomorrow, it will station in the sky. He, Venus is already kind of stationary, which means uh, from the relative motion of the Earth, it is it appears as if he's not moving, okay? So, he's already stationary. So And tomorrow, he will uh, go direct. So, this current motion of Venus is called a stationary retrograde, which means a planet is retrograde, but it has already stationed and it is about to go direct. So, Tomorrow and day after, it is like stationary direct, which means it will go direct, but it won't move at least for one or two days. So, so now from 7th August, it was in, it is in Karakrashi and it will continue to be in Karakrashi till 1st of October. So essentially the entire month of September it will be in the sign of Cancer, okay, which means uh, August, September, two months, okay, and then also July and first week, so you could say, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, three, four, three, three and a half months, it would have, actually three months of this year, it will, uh, would have, you know, completed its time in Karkrashi, which is Cancer again, <clears throat> So therefore, try to think uh, what was going on. So now, now the thing is, uh, Venus entered Cancer on 30th of May. So you need to check your horoscope and see which houses does Venus rule in your chart. Okay, so as usual, and I forgot to say, if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it. And if you like this video at the end, please click the thumbs up. And if you want a consultation from me regarding this transit or career, marriage or anything else, you can always go to my website, which you will find down in the description section. And yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and I hope he helped you when Venus was retrograde and he will further help you when Venus will be direct and when Jupiter will be retrograde from tomorrow onwards also. So therefore... Try to think what happened uh, in the first week of June. Was there something that you started or did you get clarity in some area of your life? Okay, so depending on your ascendant, Venus rules uh, will rule two houses. So it means Venus rules the sign of Libra and he rules the sign of Taurus. Okay, so we know which one is the Multricorn sign, right? So Taurus and Libra are both own signs, but among the two, Libra is the Multricorn sign which means it is Libra represents more of what Venus actually is rather than Taurus, okay? 
so taurus uh, taurus in in essence represents all the dead things related to venus okay dead in the sense you know uh, mundane prosperity wealth luxury primarily luxuries and food and venus uh, as libra represents you know humans romantic relationships your spouse your mm, partner and your uh, committed relationships in any form uh, and also could be people that you love you know in general and venus can also represent sisters okay so therefore uh, this is a very interesting thing because uh, depending on your lagna whichever sign Mm, whichever signs venus is ruling so for example if venus is your 10th lord then um, which means you know for example if you are a capricorn lagna then libra sign is in your 10th house okay so that means venus is your 10th lord now he's also your fifth lord if you are a capricorn lagna because the sign taurus is in the fifth house so that means something to do uh, with the 10th house which is your career profession name fame power position authority and fifth house which is you know like a romance love creativity children self-expression uh, creative uh, endeavors you know, and mantras you know all these things are under the fifth house so uh, something related to those houses where uh, it it it, uh, it uh, had a new beginning and especially when venus went retrograde you might have gone back in the wheel of time to make certain important changes okay and most likely you made those changes or at a worst case, even if you did not complete making those changes, you must have certainly uh, got clarity on what you need to do. Okay, so now the retrogression cycle is ending tomorrow, which means the clarity is complete, which means that either you completed doing something which you should have done or you exactly know what you need to do okay so if venus is your seventh lord then you know something to do with your marriage or relationship uh you know primarily marriage is something that you got to do so you have either done it or you will start doing it now okay so you can expect that from uh 6th or 7th of uh september onwards you will start seeing results of this venus becoming direct okay and at the end as i uh, always say that what happens in your life at the end depends on two factors your overall chart okay so what does what 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 is going on in your what is going on in your chart so for example if venus is your 10th lord so something uh, related to the profession can begin again okay which means uh, maybe you had changed your career stream or maybe you have left your job or uh, yeah you want to do something else you know from finance you want to go into data science machine learning or from uh, medical you want to go into opening a restaurant or anything it it could be anything depending on your chart okay <clears throat> so what does your chart say what, what, where where is your second lord sixth lord tenth lord so they will tell you uh, what kind of a profession that you should have you know because these three are the artha houses okay they provide wealth and uh, once you see this, uh, then you have to see your 10th Lord, you know, what, which planets are in your 10th house. You have to see your Dashamsha, you have to see the Karakas for the 10th house. Like Mercury, then you check Sun, then you check Saturn. You can also check Jupiter, you know, you have to check the Ashtagvarga of the 10th house, you know, which, uh, what what are the points in the Ashtagvarga? Okay, that is also very important. Which houses are the planets lording who are contributing to the Ashtagvarga of the 10th house okay and you also have to ch check the Navamsha because the Navamsha will tell you uh, what kind of traits will you bring into your profession okay uh, from your previous lifetimes so of course this is all assuming if you are a Capricorn Lagna because then Venus is your 10th uh, lord it's not applicable for everybody okay so once you once you know all this once you analyze your career that is the first thing you know and then the second is always analyze your mahadasha and antardasha they will ultimately decide what will happen and because it is venus it will have it will have something to do with appearance okay appearance not necessarily your physical appearance but it will have something to do with externals in general okay so we, which means hmm, 
yeah it it means you know you you might have to do something externally uh to in in context of those areas which venus represents to make things better okay so so continuing with the example of capricorn lagna if you were capricorn or leo lagna because even for leo lagna uh, venus is the 10th lord right taurus number two is in the 10th house so for these two ascendants uh, because venus is the 10th lord so uh, it could happen that you shift you want to shift into something uh, if you are inside it you know you might want to shift into something like you know ui ux design or front-end development or something like this i mean i'm, I'm just giving some basic things you know it, it could be anything it could be interior design if you are an, a decorator it could be logo making if you are into AI and, you know, design and all this, you know, it could be anything which has to deal with externals, okay? Or maybe externally your place, your office is changed, your home office ends and now you have to go back to office, okay? Again, this is not for all. This is, uh, th these are some probabilities for Capricorn uh, and Leo, uh, Primarily for Capricorn, because uh, for Capricorn, the Multicorn Rashi of Venus, which is Libra, is in the 10th house. So once you see all this, uh, then you need to understand that I have to check my dashas. Okay, so the dashas will tell me which Mahadasha, which Antar Dasha am I running. And see, you have to understand what Cancer is. You know, Cancer is the sign which is ruled by the moon. So Cancer is a feeling oriented sign. What does it mean? It means that. If there are certain things in your profession, if you are a Capricorn or Leo, if, if there are certain things in your profession which you are doing, which you don't feel good about, then maybe uh, that's not the, uh, yeah, maybe that's not the best thing to do. Or maybe you need to change and do something else. Okay, so feeling doesn't mean just, you know, uh, whimsically you feel something and you do something. No, but for long-term happiness and long-term uh, enjoyment and commitment and fulfillment, an upliftment in your profession if you are Capricorn or uh, if you are Leo then it, it is paramount uh, it is of paramount importance that you do something which you really love okay uh, now that may make you money or that may not make you money that is another uh, separate discussion okay uh, <laughs> but uh, you you need to see that you are doing something which you actually love okay otherwise uh, yeah you you may do things which uh, which will get you money for some time but you you may not do you may not get fulfillment and you may become depressed okay and especially when your 10th lord is transiting in cancer the depression may increase okay so therefore if you have responsibilities and uh, commitments then please do it nothing wrong with uh, doing that but parallelly try to work on something you know some side hustle some side income or something which can eventually replace your nine to five job you know so that is something which you uh, should take care yeah so overall it's a great time uh, one planet is going retrograde and the other is going direct you know uh, conflicting energies but two different planets a very interesting time so if you have not watched my jupiter retrograde video then it's there yesterday's live session please go and watch okay god is there with you all the time just look to him and you'll find him if you're new then please subscribe to the channel and if you like this video hit the thumbs up and share it with somebody who wants to know what's venus retrograde going to do in their life okay and if you want a consultation from me regarding this retrograde or career relationships marriage health finances anything then you will find my website down in the description section Thank you very much.